what I'm about to say, this I, I do understand this might be controversial, but I got to say it. Let's go back to verse 13. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs, which he granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and live. He was granted power to give breath to the image and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many of those who did not worship this image of the beast to be killed. Let's talk about this image. As you guys know, we've lost some precious brethren in our, in our culture it's over the past few years. You know, you had the Trayvon Martins, you had the Eric Garner, you had the Freddie Graves, you had the Walter Scotts, you had the Philando Castile, you had the Chandra Bland, you had Breonna Taylor, you had the George Floyd. So a lot of people that have fallen, right? And I felt like the Lord was sharing something with me. And what he revealed to me kind of shook me to the core because I was like, oh no, <laughs> you know? And this is the vision that I saw. The Lord gave me this vision and I'm just gonna share it with you. Notice how a lot of monuments are being torn down now. Notice how a lot of statues are being taken down. One of the major ones though that kind of shook me was Francis Scott Key. Uh, because Francis Scott Key was the one that wrote um, the words to the Star Spangled Banner, which we call our national anthem. And when I saw it, I was like, I said, oh no. Now, a lot of you might go, oh, why, why would you say that? That that person was a slave owner. That, that person was a... And yes, they were, but I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, this is so much bigger. What I saw happening in this vision is that for every monument that was taken down, that they're going to rebuild those areas of monuments or they may put it somewhere else in our cities. And the monument or the statue that will be rebuilt in Minneapolis, it may be a statue of George Floyd. In Florida, it's probably going to be a statue of Trayvon Martin. And the images are going to be statues of, it's either going to be statues of those that have gone, that have died at the hands of police brutality um, in different cities, or it's going to be one universal image that would reflect justice and equality or whatever. What will happen is that I feel like all the people will come together under this new image or new images in consideration of those that have fallen. We wanted to ensure that the location where George Floyd was murdered never has tires run over it again. Uh, and yes, we do want to move towards the, the reconnection as well. A 700 pound statue of George Floyd now sits in front of City Hall in Newark, New Jersey. It will remain there for at least a year. Newark City officials saying they hope it will serve as a reminder of the impact of and Floyd's it's a death. New year and we have a lot more issues going on. Her case and her story should not be left. It's going to represent the newness of a new nation or whatever it is that's getting ready to take place. And the fact that what, what I believe is going to happen is that those that do not share the same sentiment of the energy of people, uh, you know, those that don't share the same opinion, sentiment or mindset Consider concerning these images that have been built in place of the monuments that have been taken down, eventually due to the spirit of offense, extremism, etc., those people who rebel against that or who disagree will be persecuted and thrown in the fire, so to speak. Um, that's just the vision I saw. Um, and that scared me. <laughs> Because, um, again, the way Satan works, he works through your heartstrings. And so the deception is, you know, if it's something that, you know, makes me emotional and makes me, justifiably so, because, you know, again, slavery, oppression is not, it's not good. What can happen is if, if you don't have Christ on the inside, then what could happen, the heart will turn to stone first, and then whatever's in the heart will come out and be built 
in the form of a monument and an, an idol, if you will.